It is Hot 105, 7 The Mills, new number one for hip-hop and R&B. Hella sauce dripping with yours truly, DJ Sturgis. And I got to start in the building. Mississippi is in the mill town. Superstar Pride done pulled up on me. What's that? What problem, Sturgis? Great. Yeah, man, everything great, man. Everybody in the city has been hitting me up about you. Uh, shout out to my friend Miracle on that north side. She hit me up, told me about you, and put me on to the first mixtape, uh, Five Pounds Miracle, of Russia. Miracle, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that five, that five pounds of pressure, man, went crazy. And oh yeah, man. Oh yeah, man. It's, it's a, it's a project, man. It's a, it's a personal project. Yeah. It seems like a lot of your music is per, is personal. I mean, you're single, uh, painting pictures, going crazy right now. Uh, what hey, you, what's up, Mister Jordan? That's the lead record. Um, it's what most people can relate to. Mm. You know, it's the most relatable song I got right now. Yeah. That's how I feel. Yeah. And mama, you raised a gangster. Yeah. Everybody, man, we, you know, we survivors out here. Yeah, man. On this strong survive every day. People dropping, you know? Yeah, yeah absolutely. People so are every day like you wild. wake up, you're another strong survivor. So yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, so how's the game been treating you thus far? Man, the game been treating me well, you know? It's not really, you know, I'm not pushing on nobody. I don't want nobody pushing no on them on me. Mm. I just like to relax, you know. Yeah. Let it, let everything make its way to me, and I'm not chasing no nothing. And I don't want nobody chasing me, you know. Absolutely. Now you put out painting pictures independently. Yes. Yeah. So how's that ground been? Like, like going from independent to now being recognized by the majors and being on the charts. You know what I'm saying? He's on the Billboard Top 100, by the way, people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We had, like, number 34 right now. We had got up to, like, 23. And we had to drop because um had a situation. But yeah, it's all good. We still grinding, trying to get up to the top. Yeah, absolutely. So what you got coming up next, man? The single's going crazy. People want to see you on the road. You got an EP on the way? Yeah, I've got an EP I'm working on right now. I want to drop around the middle of May, going into June, to give them something to roll over into the album. They're yeah. going to drop around July. Okay, cool. You know, something to start off the summer with. Yeah, something like that. Okay. So, with this EP, it's just a little teaser. How many records we doing? Like, maybe five? Another five piece. Five piece. Yeah. Cool. All right, five piece on there. Uh, now, anybody you interested in working with on the uh, album, as far as production wise or other artists? On the album, no, I'm not looking to work with no one right now. But Did you? yeah, but um, some singles, some songs, like features. I'm, I'm open. Like I wanna, I wanna do something like like Future, like Gucci. You I can know, see that. something like that right now. Just to get my feet, you know, in the game, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. So is there any uh, thing that fans don't know about you that you want them to know? Like, I mean, you're taking off, you know what I'm saying? People going to start seeing you in the streets, you know what I'm saying, doing events, doing concerts. Is there something about you that your fans just don't know about yet? Like, uh, I just don't like, only thing I just don't like is, like, the approaching. Yeah. Like, I ain't really too friendly, as I might seem. Yeah. So, like, you get don't like be like, oh, he was acting funny. No, you knew before. Like, I, it's very no. I'm making be known. Like, I'm not like sometimes I just want to be regular. You know, mm -hmm. really, I want to be regular all the time. Yeah. But. I'm gonna do my shows. I'm gonna get my money because at the end of the day, this is just a job. You know. Mm -hmm. Like, my job get harder with the more success. Absolutely. So, therefore, I still want to be regular because your, your 9 to 5 is my 9 to 5. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I still got to do eight hours a day in the studio. Mm -hmm. Think about this. Um, if you go to work for eight hours a day, you pay hourly. You know you get a check. $20 an hour, that's what, 160 Yeah. 160 a day? Yeah. So, no taxes, scrape money. So, I go to the, my work, I go eight hours a day, eight hours in the studio, an eight hour shift, maybe. That's probably 
fifteen hundred just to get the studio yeah. for eight hours. Exactly. The engineer probably another four fifty, you know what I'm saying? Producer, he probably charging thirty five hundred, five thousand to a beat, you know what I'm saying? Like depends on how you feeling, you know what I'm saying? Also depends on who you is. Yeah. So with the like I say, the more success, the harder your job. The more success, the more money I gotta spend because people won't, you know what I'm saying? Either mm -hmm. clout or they trying to get in your pocket. So I feel you, man. The more you got, the more that they can take from you. Yeah. Absolutely, man. I appreciate that because you know what, man? Like some certain people just don't have that type of foundation, you know what I'm saying? Like, you saw it all the way around. Like, just before we started the interview, you know what I'm saying, we had a little soda spill in here, and, and you was willing to clean it up, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people won't even do that. A lot of people be like, oh, y'all got it, you know what I'm saying? So, like, just having that type of mindset, and do you think, like, your background kind of plays a part into, like, how you approach the game now and fans and dealing with people? Yeah, I mean, because we don't, the back home, everybody... Nobody treat nobody like a celebrity. Like, mm -hmm. like one thing I know, if you I don't care how much success you have, if you want to get grounded, I gotta go back, go back home. You know, so at home, that's how everybody should treat you. Cause everywhere you go, everywhere I go, I'm at home. So I don't. That's how I carry myself. That's how I need everybody to treat it. That's how I'm moving. There it is. Superstar Pride is in the building. So once again, um, the new EP coming out of May. Right, right. And new album will be like, what, July? July. Okay, there it is, man. You got two servants for the summer coming from Mississippi. Superstar Pride. Let them know how they can follow you, support you. Uh, you can catch up with me everywhere. Superstar Pride. Just look it up, man. You know. You already know. Painting pictures out here. We bosses, we dripping sauce, it's V103.